What's going on plugins? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about the Kentucky versus Tennessee game. Before we get into this video, make sure you drop a like. And if you're new here, sub to the channel and become a part of the family. Now let's get into the video. Kentucky went into this game against Tennessee on a four game winning streak. They beat some solid teams and they're playing some of their best basketball right now. The last four games, they scored 90 plus points. And in two of those games, they scored 100 plus points. So this late in the season, they're looking unstoppable. But going into this game against Tennessee, it was a must win game. They lost to Tennessee on February 3rd and the final score was 103 to 92. So Kentucky knew how big this game was and they needed to go out there and make a statement. To start the game, both offenses got off to a slow start and both defenses were playing well both teams were locked in and they wanted to set the tone i was impressed with kentucky's defense especially their defense in the paint they're making it tough for tennessee and they forced them to shoot a lot from the perimeter kentucky has a lot of length and size with the seven footers they got hopefully they can keep playing defense like that moving forward robert Dillingham got into foul trouble early in the game and he didn't play much i was kind of bummed he got into foul trouble i was hoping he was going to go off in the first half we all know kentucky's offense would have been way better if he was on the court i hope he can stay out of foul trouble once the NCAA tournament starts we don't need him picking up two early fouls as soon as the game starts they're gonna need every bit of his offense in those games but anyways Kentucky was hot from three Justin Edwards was looking like a sharpshooter he was three for four from three he's looking like a whole different player right now for most of the season he was a non-factor but these last couple of games he's making a big impact he's shooting better from three than I expected he's proven the doubt is wrong right now for how good he's been late in the season going into the second half Kentucky had a small lead and they tried to pull away and build a bigger lead but Dalton connect from Tennessee refused to let the game get out of hand he was the main reason why Tennessee was keeping the game competitive. He was making some tough shots. He ended up dropping 40 points, and Kentucky had no answer for him. But going into this game, I feel like everyone knew he was going to play well, and he was going to get his regardless. He's in the running to be the National Player of the Year, so he's legit. Justin Edwards continued to shoot well from three. He ended the game with 16 points, but Reed Shepard started to heat up and be aggressive from three. It felt like every time he pulled up from out there, it was going to go in. He's so confident out there, it's scary, plugins. He can create his own shot from out there, be a catching shooter, and if he's really feeling himself, he would just pull up from three in transition. He was seven for 10 from three and he had 27 points. He was ball in this game. Antonio Reeves was shooting well this game. He finished with 27 points. He's basically an automatic 20 points per game player. This is now seven games in a row that he scored 20 plus points. So he's the most consistent scorer on the team. So Kentucky's offense was too much for Tennessee and they pulled off the upset beating the fourth ranked team in the country, 85 to 81. But Kentucky almost had a disaster of a finish. It was 55 seconds left in the game and they blew an 11 point lead and it ended up being a three point lead with 31 seconds left. Kentucky started to make some mistakes, fouling and turning the ball over and Tennessee started making shots from three and getting and one layups. So they almost had a major collapse and loss. I forgot what game it was, but Kentucky almost lost in the final moments because they kept turning the ball over. They got to fix that problem before it starts costing them games. We don't need a game in the NCAA tournament where they're up by double digit points with about a minute left and they blow the lead and lose. Hopefully that doesn't happen, but it could happen if they don't fix this problem. Y'all feel what I'm saying, plugins? But congrats to Kentucky on their big win. This is a statement win for them and it gives them the respect as one of the best teams in the country and this lets every team team know that they're the most dangerous team right now with the win against Tennessee they get a double buy in the SEC tournament and they are the two seed so they're going to get a lot of rest and be fresh for the next game which will be Friday March 15th I have Kentucky as the favorites to win the SEC tournament I don't expect them to be blowing teams out and winning by double digit points I feel like the games would be close the teams in the SEC are tough opponents but Kentucky's overall a better team and they have the deepest team so hopefully they take care of business and are crowned the champs of the SEC was Kentucky beating Tennessee a statement win how good do you think Kentucky will be in the SEC tournament? Do y'all believe they can win it all? Drop y'all opinions in the comments. Drop a like on the video and sub to the channel. I have a video on the channel, Kentucky Commit Billy Richmond's state championship game. So make sure y'all check that out and drop a like. I appreciate y'all and I'll see you in the next video. Till next time.